Ohio Treasurer Josh Mandel is making another run for U.S. Senate. It's time to transfer the power from the politicians to the people and give everyday Ohioans the freedom to live the life they want to live and the opportunity to work the job they want to work. Mandel made that announcement today with this video on Twitter. He will challenge Democrat Sherrod Brown. He ran against Brown in 2012 but was defeated. His video released today. In his video, Mandel echoes Donald Trump, who he eventually supported in the presidential campaign. Most people think Washington is broken, but really, it's just a rigged system. The politicians and their cronies get rich while the middle class struggles. I'll fight to bring term limits to Washington, to make sure the politicians answer to us, not to the lobbyists and the special interests. Mandel also said that he supports securing U.S. borders and no sanctuary cities. It's possible Mandel will face another Republican in the primary in 2018, but he is laser-focused, he says, on unseating Democrat Sherrod Brown. Just hours after releasing that video on Twitter, Mandel sat down with me for his only television interview about today's announcement. And when you look at Washington, I think it's a rigged system. Uh, I think there's a lot of career D.C. politicians there uh, who are just doing what's right for themselves and their cronies. It's the same kind of populist message used so successfully by Donald Trump, targeting middle-class voters who feel disenfranchised. Mandel is calling for and committing to term limits on Capitol Hill, limiting senators to two six-year terms. And then make those politicians come back and live under the budget and the laws that they created. Uh, now you have D.C. career politicians like Sherrod Brown who's pretty much spent his whole entire adult life uh, in Washington. Mandel is already signaling a repeat of the contentious tone of the Senate race against Brown nearly six years ago, accusing him of cronyism and claiming Brown cast the deciding vote on what he calls disastrous Obamacare. That's a line that's used by Republican candidates across the country. Depending on who they're running against, they claim that person cast the deciding vote. Mm -hmm. How do you reason that Sherrod Brown cast the deciding vote on Obamacare? Well, if he didn't vote for it, it wouldn't have passed. But can't you say that of every senator who voted for it? Well, I'm running for the Senate here in Ohio <laughs> against okay. Sherrod Brown. And so if our U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown uh, chose to not vote for Obamacare, then Obamacare would have never become the law of the land. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who Mandel backed for president, is already endorsing Mandel for U.S. Senate. And we are scheduled to interview Senator Brown on all of this tomorrow. President